It's been a while since I reviewed the microphone, especially from Mauno. What I have here is a small, portable USB microphone kit, the Mauno AUPM461TR. As I reviewed quite a few mics from Maono, I'm looking forward to test this one and see how it performs. So here is how it will be done. On top of my camera I have the Deity D3 Pro shotgun mic which is plugged into my A7 III. And right here in front of me I have this Maono microphone. I won't say that long name again, I might just call it 461TR. It is plugged into my iPad and it will record the audio using the built-in app called Voice Memos. I will switch back and forth between these two mics. So keep an eye on the screen to see which one is in use. Oh, just to let you know, I will not edit the audio. So what you hear is the sound straight out of these two mics. Now let's test the 461TR mic. We can't start the product review without taking a look at the box, which shows probably all the information needed about this mic. I can recognize these two tone colors anywhere, not yellow, not orange, somewhere in between and black. As I open the box, I am greeted with a customer satisfaction card, and the user manual. Then there is a little foam pop filter, the tripod stand, the USB A to B cable, the microphone holder and the actual unit, the condenser microphone with the gain knob. It is covered by a 12 months warranty. This 461TR is marketed as a podcast microphone with a mic gain. Well, probably because it has the gain knob at the front. I must say that this is a very light mic. I am used to heavier ones and I like those more, but this one is light. The other ones were probably made of metal and this one is made of plastic. Good quality plastic and it comes in matte black. As you can see, it is a child's plate to put it together and to connect it to the PC or laptop. There is no need for any drivers or external devices. Well, if you have a device with Type-C ports, you will need an adapter, as I need for my iPad. I'll leave the link to the one I use in the description below. Now, you might need to select the mic from the settings menu, but this is shown in the user manual. Just don't forget to check there. Let's play a bit with the gain knob. What you heard so far was at 50% my gain. I usually keep it at 35% but I made an exception on this one just to be sure. For the purpose of this test I will try as much as I can to keep the same level and speak at the same volume. Tough. Now the my gain is at 50% and I will turn the knob to the left to minimum. This is the only way to turn off the mic while plugged and not in use. There is no mute, unmute button and there is no headphone jack to monitor the audio in real time. And here we are, back at 50%. There is a click at 50% so I know where the knob is if I do not look at the mic. Time to turn the knob to the right and go all the way to maximum. I kept the same distance from the mic, around 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And here we are, at 100%. This might be too loud so I'll put it back at 50. In terms of sound, I must say that I am impressed with its performance. At a price point of £27.99 or $19.99, Again, cheaper in the States, this 461TR delivers a clear and smooth sound. Well impressed for the price, but it is my honor, so what else to expect? The link to this amazing microphone is in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so please use it because it will help the channel. One thing to remember, as this microphone is great for podcasts, for voiceovers, and talking on different platforms, the best way to position it is facing forward. So the gain knob is facing your way, because this is where the sound is captured. So one microphone per person is needed if you have a podcast or you do an interview. This Maono 461TR is compatible with Windows, Mac, PlayStation, but it doesn't work on Xbox. So, question for you. What do you think of this microphone and how is the audio? Personally, I like it, but I want to hear your opinion as well. Also, what microphone do you use to record videos or do voiceovers or for podcasts? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of future product reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.